guys i'm making spinach rice and i just wanted to show you guys how i do this so what i definitely have i have my green seasoning my garlic paste two cups of rice some spinach i don't think i'm using all of it but we'll see i probably use half of the bag and an onion um i'm gonna also be adding fresh basil to it because basil in spinach rice makes a difference you could use um like a tablespoon or two of coconut cream if you'd like but i'm not doing that today and then obviously some seasonings and stuff like that so i'm just gonna get this chopped and then i'll come back on camera for you guys okay so guys i am finished I am finished ch chopping this um, frozen spinach, um, the basil, and the onions. I used baby spinach, and it was, don't mind the dates. <laughs> I know it says it's out of date, but I buy my spinach and I put it in the freezer. So it's been in the freezer. Um, so it's fine. Oh, and it's 100 grams. So I'm about to, you know, do this. So what I do... I've already washed my rice. If you don't wash your rice, please wash your rice. So, just get the rice in there. Get my green season in the pot. And remember, we're gonna try to use as little bit of salt as possible in this dish. The green season already have salt in it. The garlic paste usually has salt in it but because this is fresh i didn't put any salt in it the salt is usually to preserve it so just need to get that in and thyme fresh sprigs of thyme because rice without thyme not happen so and then i melted one bouillon cube in hot water in this and it's like about a pint a half a liter and then I add it obviously it depends on your salt intake so when you melt the bouillon clue if you taste the dough like just taste it if you like it then it's okay if you feel like it would need a bit more salt then you can add that but I like to cook my spinach rice in uh, chicken broth if I don't know if you can see, but the rice is not covered by the liquid. So at this juncture is where I I'm gonna put water in this to cover the, the remainder of the rice. Yeah, so you need the water to do be just above the rice and then on the next clip you see it on the stove and I'll show you like basically how it looks when it's cooking so it's now on the fire and I forgot to tell you that I need to add ground black pepper which I will be adding now um, maybe a teaspoon to two teaspoons of ground black pepper I think it's necessary in all dishes <laughs> and that's it basically stir and when it comes to a boil and then I'll, I'll turn it down so that it can the steam can cook it rather than it be on a, a rolling boil I'll just have the steam cook it so you just watch it I know some people might be tempted to cook there or fry okay it won't be cooking really fry their um, pieces of onions before it's unnecessary it's not necessary to put that oil in if you wanted to put some oil in now you can but my garlic paste I use it I use oil in it so there won't be no need to put oil in my pot so when it's finished I'll get back to you and you guys will see how it looks when it's finished and trust me spinach rice is a different experience I know there's always peas and rice and vegetable rice or fried rice but spinach rice is a different experience and I haven't met anyone that doesn't like it so when we come back you'll see how it looks when it's finished uh, it shouldn't take too long maybe 10 to 12 minutes and I don't know if you can see but it's stand to boil in this corner so as soon as it 
actually boils I will turn it down and put the pot cover on top of it you know so let's get a chance to boil and then the, after we'll turn it down and get the steam to do the rest of the cooking for us I just wanted to give you a view of it boiling so th at this juncture when it gets to this you're gonna just turn it down and put the pot cover on and have it steam and that should be good and if you open the pot cover you can smell the smell of the the spinach rice i don't even know there's a smell <laughs> it's so good guys really and truly it's really good so you can see that the rice is finished um i took the fire off so at this juncture i don't need there to be a fire i'm gonna just cover it and let this residual residual steam yeah do with the rest of the grains and that is it and then you can go and show off and be like i made spinach rice because this thing bangs like this is it it's nice it doesn't turn the rice green you just have the nice sweet flakes of the spinach of the spinach and it's really healthy for you you know so thank you guys for watching and i will see you in my next video bye Thank you guys for watching and if you enjoyed watching me create this remember to like comment share and subscribe for more videos like this if you love to see me create anything of your choice if you just leave it in the comment section down below i'll be definitely picking it up and thank you guys so so much for all the support and remember bon appetit